Hey, I'm Guy, and that's John. Yes, it is. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Leave a comment. Also, check the podcast below in the description. And check out geology.com slash ham for 40% off all trial sets and 20% off the new SPF 30 sunscreen. Keep yourself looking good. Geology.com slash ham. Somebody mentioned Justin Fields to us earlier uh, on the YouTube channel, John, and uh, it was perfect timing because we were going to talk about this anyway, which is the the buildup, and we saw some of it with Trey Lance, and we'll see it with Fields. It, it I think their situations are a little different from one another but they're also probably more similar than they are different it's definitely not apples to apples because jimmy garoppolo and andy dalton aren't apples to apples every team in the league would rather have jimmy garoppolo start than andy dalton where they are very similar neither fan base wants to watch either play at this point in time the bears 100 percent. like no one needs to watch a throw of andy dalton people can live with jimmy if he's fine but this gets back to what we just talked about on the hype on this guy. And you could feel it with both guys. Now, granted, they both had praxis this week. So it's like you just saw them in their uniform, which once you see it, and they both look pretty freaking sweet. You're like, God, I want to see more of that. Yeah. The other thing is part of why they look so sweet is they're big, sweet, physical athletes with huge arms. Like, I don't know. Who do you want your quarterback to be? I oh, you know a guy that can run, that can throw BBs and uh, knows what he's doing, right? I mean, they just – you want these type players. But the great part about rookies, you don't know what they look like. I, I, I think the hype on both these guys, given that they're not going to go starters into uh, training camp, unlike tra- uh, Trevor Lawrence starter, Zach Wilson starter, Mac Jones. The hype on Mac Jones was really Niner created. I, I don't feel there's that much hype on Mac Jones. Even if you're a Patriot fan, like you're interested to watch him, but you're not like, I got to see Mac Jones. Like, it's fucking. I would love to know. Guy with an average arm. Yeah, I'd love to know. Do Patriots fans prefer Mac Jones start than Cam Newton? I just, just whoever just gets us a win is probably what they're thinking. Yeah, I don't get the sense that there's a lot of like people taking sides on that one. No, because it's ultimately like, okay, you're getting Kirk Cousins. So to me, back to these two guys, like, I think the hype on them as rookie you know, of the quarterbacks are going to be the strongest. Basically, I mean, they're they're talking the Niners and the Bears, and you're talking two guys that aren't the starter. So it's just constant back to what we're just like, what are practices looking like? What's the rep count looking like? Why do you say Justin Fields is not the starter? Well, because Andy Dalton is the starter going into camp. I think it's easier for Justin Fields 100% to just win that job. They can't, because you're saying you just can't give Justin Fields that job before he's done anything. Yeah, I just think Andy Dalton's going to be running with the ones when training camp starts. Do you not? No, I do. I just, I was just curious why you felt that way. I just, the, because I think, you know, they are, the organizations are in different positions. The head coach, the GMs, they're just in different spots, right? Like the Bears need Justin Fields to be good now. The Niners need Trey Lance to be good eventually. It's a little different. And I think they're a lot more desperate for him. Like they, they, to me, a tie might go to Trey Lance, but Trey Lance, if Jimmy's better than him, Jimmy's the starting quarterback. If Andy Dalton's a little better than Justin Fields, Justin Fields might still be the starting quarterback. Not disagreeing with you. They, they are not apples-to-apples apple situation, but where they are similar is the hype on both players from the fan base, yeah, from the consumer, from, from the, the media, guy that— The media coverage is going to be driven by that hype, as it should yeah. be. It's, both places that are that's massive the markets, massive brands in the league— and to me, like, what is the Zach Wilson story? It's like, oh, how he looks. His team but he's, sucks. But like, there's no drama as to whether or not he's the guy. I, I think these are the two. These two guys are going to lead the training camp hype train for rookies because they're not starting. Their physical attributes are huge. And while Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson, when they make their quote unquote preseason debuts, like I said, it will be a big deal. But like they can't they're starting no matter what. The the dissection on these two guys preseason games are going to be outrageous, guy. That I'm here for that. <laughs> like I, I'm all for it because you're comparing them now. Like you said, Trey is different. He would have to be dramatically better than Jimmy. Like a tie, if the tie goes to the runner, tie goes to Jimmy. Tie in Chicago probably just goes to Justin Fields. Right? But I don't. So they, 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 yeah, but I'm saying it's like even if he's just close, I think it goes to Justin Fields. But you agree the hype train on Trey Lance, like what if his in training camp, like some of those preseason games, he looks incredible. 
and Jimmy looks terrible. You think people are like, oh, yeah, just start Jimmy. Woohoo. No. Who the fuck's going to be saying that? Nope. Well, first of all, he doesn't have to look incredible. There's going to be people saying you got to start him, right? But how, how yeah. does Shanahan and, – and Kyle kind of gave us – we'll know what Kyle thinks based on what, what the practices are like because he said it. Once it's time to comp- – once he's er- once we know he's ready to compete, he'll compete for the job. So we'll know when Kyle's – when how he's splitting up the reps, whether or not it's a, at a certain point, whether or not it's a competition or not, right? That's my – that's one of my main points with this. The, the story of these two players' reps – Every single training camp practice, it's going to be outrageous how many takes come from that of, like, everyone's going to have an opinion. Like, oh, it's just we got to get Trey Moore. Justin Fields, no, not enough. Like, it's just – and it's going to be real because then it's going to be based on how did they look in those practices. What is Kyle doing? Jimmy looks awful. Trey's throwing dimes, and and they're going 90-10. Jimmy, this doesn't make any sense. Can you imagine if I go to Bears practice, Fields look awesome, but he only got 20% of the reps. People are like, what is going on? Which is cool. Like, to me – that, like you said, back to the drama aspect of it, it's going to be strong. <laughs> it's, and you, to me, you could feel it this weekend on just both guys coming out of their first ever practice. I don't know how many people the Bears had, but like the Niners, probably not many. And it just, you, you're just already there. Because once you see both guys in a uniform, you're like, yeah, that's what an NFL quarterback looks like. Part, yeah. now, we, now we do know this. What you look like getting off the bus at an NFL quarterback doesn't mean a damn thing. Hackenberg looks sweet. Kaiser looks sweet. I, I mean, I could list 50 guys that look sweet getting off the bus. But we know there's more to that. But where it's fair with both these guys, I think coming in, did you tell me that Ballard had the blue star on this on Trey Lance? Like the oh, Colts loved yeah. him? Shit, that was a topic we are going to do today. We can, I mean, we can save that for midweek. But like, I think this guy was r- beloved in the scouting community. Clearly, Justin Fields was more, I don't want to say red flag because that's too strong, but just the opinions varied. But no one disputed his physical attributes, right? And, and I always argued his production, but man, I I can't wait to watch just how the training camp operates with both these guys relative to the, the incumbent. Jimmy's a true incumbent. Andy's like a hired mercenary who stinks, but... They're both going to get the same treatment. Starting when training camp starts, they're both going to be under center with the ones, mm. which is just like go back years ago. Different scenario because one guy was a third round pick and it was Matt Flynn. But I will give Pete credit; he just went quarterback positions open. Now they hadn't accomplished anything. At that what was Matt Flynn ne- making? Ever been to the playoffs? I think seven or eight million. He was I mean, less I think accomplished they signed him, than the whatever other two guys. Deal. But it was just, it's wide open. Do you think it's easier to say it's wide open when you've never won anything than when, like, I do. it's not wide open with Jimmy Garoppolo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are guys in that locker room that have won with whatever, who knows what anybody individually thinks, but they, they've won with them. Like, you've seen what it is at its best. And, and there's a balance of, have, like... You've got expectations on your own team. Yeah. You don't, that's just, Belichick never does... You know, it's wide open when someone's earned it. Part of it, like part of the program, is earning your spot. Now you could yeah. say to Jimmy, Jimmy was just handed it. But isn't that what Kyle, the comment Kyle made to Irvin? Right? Was like, I don't want to give Florio a headline. Of course, he could start. Anybody could start. This is, kind of, you know, that's what coaches say. It's like this is competition. That's the way this yeah. works. Like that is the the ultimate question that we'll be talking about over the next several months is not what does Kyle think or what does Kyle do. The ultimate question is how good is Trey Lance. Because if Trey Lance is good enough, it's not Kyle thinking. Kyle's not thinking him into the starting quarterback job. That's the that is the only thing that matters. Is Trey Lance good enough? Because if Trey Lance is good enough, then he'll f- quote unquote force Kyle to do whatever it is he forces Kyle to do. It's not up to Kyle. It's like when coaches say it, we think it's a cliche, but it's so true. When they say it's not up to me, it's up to him. It's up to Trey Lance. And that is the well. Ultimate truth. I'd push back a little bit because in camp it is a little subjective. It's based on training camp. It's based on. But I'm just saying, kind of the feel of Kyle, your team. If, but this is to your point on on uh, on Pete. My, I think Kyle is open minded to letting Trey Lance become the starting quarterback if that's what he forces him to do. I agree. Why wouldn't he be? So, but I think that's what the fans want. It, well, it is. It, yeah, it, it is. 